Hello and welcome back to Toadstool Tarot. I'm very excited to share something with you that just came in the mail today from Make Playing Cards. Um, I was intrigued when I first saw this because I have I have a number of Rider Waite Smith decks, um, but this one I particularly like the color palette on. It's uh, called well, it says Bordered Weight Smith Desaturated 2020. On the website, it's listed as WS22 Bordered Desaturated. So, <clears throat> um, when I opened the box, oh, it it's kind of on the pricey side, and I couldn't figure out why are they charging so much. Well, it turns out it's because it's a uh, a box that comes in a box and they pay a lot more to have these boxes designed with graphics on them but when I opened the package at first and saw it in shrink wrapped I thought oh no the cards have labels on the bottom and square corners then I realized it's in a tuck box a lot of the stuff I order from um, make playing cards doesn't come in a tuck box. It usually just comes the cards shrink wrapped. So um, yeah, that's the top of the box. 22B. 22B? Isn't that where Sherlock Holmes lived? 22 Baker Street? So anyway, tuck box! Now this is a majors only deck. Oh, that's what I'm referring back to why it was so expensive. It seemed kind of pricey for a majors only deck, but because of the box. And when I saw the back designs online, I thought, oh, the backs are kind of bland. It's just a solid color, but it's actually not. It's actually a really nice pattern, but I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. It's this kind of cross-hatched pattern in a in a really pretty kind of a greeny gray color with a very thin border on it. If I get up close maybe you can see that. Now and these cards do have borders, very thin white borders. Um, this isn't the sharpest line work I've ever seen. I mean it's it's pretty sharp but it's not as detailed as other decks I'm familiar with. But the emphasis here is on the coloring. So um, if you're familiar with the RWS deck and who isn't, you know, then you will know all these images well enough that you don't really need the extra details. It's just more of a joy to see the colors this way. The cardstock I think it's their S30, which I usually like, but somehow this feels a little little thin. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So there's the fool. The magician. Oh, I just noticed these aren't numbered or labeled, which is nice for a majors only deck. The high priestess. But then again, if you don't know our WS, you might not know what these cards are. The Empress. There's no uh, little white book or any, any guide of any kind, so you need to know your system. The Emperor. I suspect by looking at these and looking at the line work that whoever created these possibly carefully traced over some original artwork because um, the lines seem pretty much all there, but some of the lines are a little thinner than others. It's not solidly thick, sharp lines everywhere. There's kind of a, seems almost like there's a variation in line density and strength. The Hierophant, the Lovers, I actually love this kind of pastel 
muted pastel palette, the chariot. It's not the typical pastels. It's more, it's, it's odd, kind of moody. It's like purples, greens, um, grays, um, muted blues, strength. The hermit. Wheel of Fortune. There are no reds, yellows, or orange. No warm colors in this deck. The closest you get are uh, is purple, probably. Um, justice. The Hanged Man. One of the warmer cards. You can call it warm. Death, very dark death card. Uh, temperance. Oh, my light is reflecting off these a little bit. These are not glossy. I'm uh, just a little bit of a little bit of a sheen. The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment and the world. I'm gaining more and more an appreciation of majors only decks. I'm actually finding most of what I need or everything I need really is in these 22, pardon the expression, trump cards. I don't like to call them that and everybody knows why. Uh, majors. It's all in the major arcana, the major secrets. 22 cards. The only difficulty that I have with majors only is in shuffling. Sometimes it doesn't feel like there's enough cards to shuffle, but as far as information, it feels like it's all there to me. So, you get a sense of that, that palette. Well, there's a couple of sort of warmish cards. I wouldn't say they're red or orange. It's a little bit of a brownish. But yeah, I kind of like this this uh, color palette. It's different. Now, I don't have the Albano weight, but um, this reminds me a little bit of where Frankie Albano was going with that when he did his, although his are in some ways a lot more garish. I really kind of like these sort of earthier tones. And if, you, if you're a moody, melancholy personality like me, then you might really like working with this deck of sort of darkish day, gray day, rainy day colors. Yeah. This is a good one to work with, probably, on a gray day or at night. So, there you have it. Enjoy.